K-State Farm, McNeil, Chevrolet, Buick, uh, the Swanton Police Department, the Mayor, Neil, Swanton Mayor, Neil Topi. Huh. Remember I said that this is not over. I'm signing my legal team's agreement right now. I'm going to proceed after every single person that is involved in this ridiculous scam. So I want you to understand yet again, you have an opportunity to make this right. But McNeil's, you had no right to call my phone and impersonate the police department, the same police department that you know I had issues with, with this hate crime. You had no business harassing me. I'm not even your employee anymore. And I was told that if I went after the police department, according to my former boss that worked there, that if I went after the Swanton area about what truly happened to me, that I, they would have to disconnect all connections with me. Huh? So, McNeils, I have an indictment towards you. You cannot get away with that. State Farm, you know what you did. You know how you lied. You know that even in the depositions you allowed Jeff Lambert, Deborah McSurley, to lie. Well, guess what? I've got that evidence too. So now I'm coming back with the right people in place. Understand this team of attorneys that I am now getting ready to retain. We are going to address every single racial remark, discriminatory uh, action, Anything that was done to us unlawfully, we're going to address it in court. There won't be a, oh, we're not going to go to court all of a sudden. We're going to address it because you will not get away with this. Somebody knows something. And the way I see it, McNeil's is involved just the same. Because who gives anybody the authorization to impersonate law enforcement as a way to get at me when you know and you tell me you were my friend at one time? No, you weren't. I was your cash cow. We were never friends because if we were, where was you when we lost the business? When did you check on us? When did you say, hey, are you okay? That's what friends do. So... Since we're not friends, you don't get the right to play with me like that. If I called anybody impersonating law enforcement, not only will I get in trouble for uh, breaking the law, but they have every right to sue me for harassment. The reason Lurid Chevrolet is mentioned, because I know how it goes. That dealership is owned by two. And that's why there's been a complaint filed with General Motors, the Better, Better Business Bureau, the dealer raider. And we'll see in the end of this. Because you were unfair to me, Swanton. You allowed this to happen to me. And instead of protecting me, you incriminated me as a criminal. And you told it to the entire community. And you will pay for it.